Oh, I think it's an institution that promotes dialogue on um, values-based leadership and our community of values with um, our allies, not just and like-minded countries, not just in Europe, but at this point, uh, all over the world. I mean, obviously, we started the Aspen Leadership Program and we brought it to Germany after a period of some sadly stubborn resistance on the part of the board of Aspen Germany and in sort of the Cold War period. Um, and that is, in my mind, the leadership program is, in my mind, the sort of core of what ASP does. Um, you know, taking people off into a kind of setting where they can kind of uh, disconnect from all the daily concerns and sort of think about what it is to be a leader and about values-based leadership. And what made me want to bring it to ASP in Germany was a, a, a combination of factors. One was I went through it myself and it was transformative. And I thought, my, my goodness, this is something, this is really the sort of core of the Aspen brand. The second was a sort of, I thought, how could this not be something that would be popular in Germany, the land of composers and poets and philosophers? I mean, this is something the Germans would, I think, love. Well, because um, we find ourselves in, in Western societies in general, but not just Western societies. This is true in Japan and Korea as well, and just in Australia, and also in Latin America. We find ourselves um, in increasingly polarized electorates. Um, I think it's really an artifact of globalization and the sort of shock anywhere in the global economy gets quickly transmitted elsewhere, and those who are most vulnerable were generally the sort of blue collar workers, um, you know, to have lower lower protections uh, than far fewer than they did in the seventies, for instance. And so, we all face this challenge of how do you get worthwhile things done in societies that are increasingly polarized and at each other's throats, and that's where where values come in, leadership and the good society. I mean, and Ashman's idea of creating a mutual space where People of all political persuasions can come and have a, a meaningful, respectful dialogue, a safe space, and disagree without being disagreeable. How often does that happen these days? Um, I think that makes it pretty unique, and, and um, it makes it um, very, very important. Oh, that it may continue to flourish. I mean, the period in which I took over was, uh, in all frankness, uh, not the easiest period because we had um, a, a sort of financing issue. Um, and very, I'm very misdelighted to hear that my successors um, succeeded in securing um, basic financing from the federal government. We did not have that at the time. And there were some questions throughout a good part of my tenure whether the Aspen Institute in Germany would even survive. And so it gives me particular pleasure um, to see it flourishing and uh, uh, the two leaders who come up to me and, and um, you know, um, I can only hope it um, continues for another 50 years of success. Thank you.